A warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And our live game is Metz against Marseille. Well, I'm Peter Drury and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Glad to be here, Peter, and I'm ready to rumble. the lineups for this game. So it's down to business here. Oh, he's broken through. Passes it through. Dinks one in. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Paye. With a delicate ball. Well positioned to make that interception. Also, tries a through ball, Marseille have a free kick. And the ref's been lenient here, I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Sanson, Cabela crosses one in, and that's been repelled. It's a loose ball, Cabela. Belts one. <laughs> and oh, goal, Marseille. That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Marseille take the early advantage. Now it's Erding. Comes under pressure and it's come loose. Sanso looks like a good ball through. Pumps it upfield. Evra gets into the right position to intercept. And it's Gomis. He's played him through. A chance! And he's on his way! Wonderful from Gomis! All too easy, they are in danger of disappearing out of sight. <laughs> and that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Marseille take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Tries lifting it over. Stupid defending to ensure they got no further. Tovan. Sanso. Who's going to make this theirs? It's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Looks to slip it through. Now it's Gomis. 
clearance now. Can they make something of it? Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Direct. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Sol Sol. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. Sol Sol. Marseille are leading with half time drawing close. the through ball. Cabela cuts it out. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Fine defending there. Now it's Erding. Evra. Aim forward. Cabela, Cabela delivers. Too much on that, it's gone out. Erding passes it through. That'll be a throw-in. Chip through, Tovan does well there, alert. And the half-time whistle goes. It's the first half compared with your expectation. Well, I think it was a bang-bang 45 minutes. That quick-fire double has, has left their opponents a little muddled, and they can't allow this 15-minute break. Here we go again, then. Goes wide. They've managed to get it away. Shoots! Decent enough try. Well, he has a bit of a reputation from that sort of range, Peter, and he can't half smack one. Coad. Gomis. It's a long forward pass. Boom forward. Funny boots it upfield. It's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? Had a swing, but it wasn't to be. Well, the contact was absolutely perfect for me, but the direction was, was pretty ugly, and that really was a, a back to the training ground moment. We'll get that clear. Dealt with that well. It's come loose. Looks like a good ball through. Can he score? Gets good distance on it. And it's Paye. Mets are keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Now it's Gomis. To get it forward quickly. It was on the back foot. Tries a through ball. Spoon forward. He's going to have to tune his range finder before the next one. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Is that a foul? Yes, the referee's given it. 
He gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Well, he knew what he was taking on there, Peter, and special delivery from the ref. Missed by a fraction. Looks to slip it through. Paye tries a through ball. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Well, he knows he has the ability to put this exactly where he wants. He'll always back himself. Paye ready to try one. Goal. Sumptuous finish, an absolute joy. Unbelievable. And the lead is three. It is surely done. <laughs> Dispatched expertly, nicely done. Without reply, this is becoming a stroll. Out to the left it goes. Going for goal! Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Saved only by poor finishing. Oh, his instinct was brilliant, but not the finish. We'll try from distance. Oh, the keeper's done just about enough. Well, he caught that one right on the meat. Cracking effort. Oh, he really wanted that. Well, in all honesty, he's tormented that defence. They just can't handle it. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, now that he's scored, this defence is on high alert whenever he, he goes anywhere near the ball. Looks like a good ball through. There are a few waiting for it. Ball's gone out of play. Played into the middle. Cabela. And it's Paye. Paye takes control of it and he's on the move. He's doing it on the right now. What's on? Tovan tries a long pass towards the front. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Thrust towards the front line. Ball is over the line. Aimed long and direct. Tovan pumps it upfield. Coad, great challenge. Gomis has got himself a free kick. Another piece of really good defending. Gomis. Tova. And time is up. Marseille, a class apart. Opponents torn apart. They are comprehensive winners. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? I think when we look back at that, the, the early goal proved so decisive. I think scoring when they did just gave them that element of control and confidence, and that proved key.